Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Kia. And tonight for dinner, I'm making flank steak pen rolls with spinach and Parmesan cheese. Jump into these ingredients real quick. You're gonna have your fresh spinach and Parmesan cheese, some black pepper, a little bit of dried parsley. I'm gonna be using this new um, beef stew and oxtail seasoning from Spice King. So we're gonna see how that is. You're gonna to wanna to have your salt, a lemon for zest. And I'm also going to do some roasted potatoes. They are currently on the stove boiling and then I'm gonna put them in the oven along with some red peppers and onions. And let's get started, guys. A couple of, a couple of mushrooms that I'm going to um, roast with my potatoes here. They're nice and tender. Guys, so I have uh, my roasted uh, potatoes, peppers, and onions. So I'm going to use this ranch dressing um, seasoning pack and some olive oil. So I'm going to douse um, this whole... Preheated to about 375 degrees. I'm gonna bake for like 15 minutes. So now it's ready to prepare the flank steak. Um, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to try to um, get this to be a little bit thinner. It's a, it's a bit thick, as you can see. So we're gonna use our tenderizer and we're going to use some parchment paper. We're just gonna bang it a little bit to tenderize it. with Kia. Many of you know my sons love to cook too uh -huh. and this time I have my if youngest you son. Watch my video, click on that. Yes. Watch my videos. Watch his videos. He cooks too. So he's going to help me finish our steak pin rolls. You uh not -huh. use and I was sitting like this. Like this. I was still sitting all day and I went up there and um, go play my Nintendo Switch all right, so the next thing we do, so after we have butterfly the steak, mine was a little bit thick. I tried to tenderize it, still too thick, so I cut it in half, still too thick, so I butterflied it. So I get you thick off. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Parmesan cheese and we're gonna sprinkle it around um, the beef <laughs> fillets. <laughs> And then we're gonna put some lemon zest on there and spinach, and then we're gonna roll it up and we're gonna use some twine to tie it. We're going to pan sear in our um, cast iron. Uh, so now that nothing wants me to be great today. All right, so let's get to seasoning. All right, nobody ready? All right, let's put, like, shake it, season all over the steak on the front and the back. All right, yeah. Can I see? Okay, that's good. So now I'm just gonna spread it. Mmm. You did a good job seasoning that one. I'm just gonna do this, finish on this one. Don't lick your hand. Okay, so I just, we just finished seasoning and I was going to do salt and pepper, but this is a really rich seasoning. I am, however, going to do the dry um, parsley. Let's I can, do it. Um, Let's do it, so I'm going to sprinkle that. I'm going to pour a little bit on the steaks or sprinkle a little bit on the steaks. Just a little bit noble, like, you know, mommy's doing lightly. That's how we're gonna do it, okay? You do it. Good job. Oh, that's amazing. It, it's my favorite color. It's, it is your favorite color. 
So this is our steak all seasoned. We're going to put our Parmesan cheese on there, a little bit of lemon zest, and then we're gonna to top it off with some fresh spinach. Then we're gonna roll up our flank steak pinwheels and we're going to pan sear them and then place them in the oven. All right, so now we're taking, now that we have our lemon zest and our Parmesan cheese on the steaks, we're gonna take some spinach. Yeah, this is spinach. All right, so Noble and I are getting ready to roll it up. You ready, Noble? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mine will be bigger than you. Oh, you gotta do it tight, sweetie. Look, let me show you. Wanna make sure you get all of the, so look, you're gonna roll it really slow. Don't rush it, roll it really slow. Make sure you get all of the, um... okay. So now that I've um, rolled them and tied them, I'm cutting them in half and they're gonna look like this. <gasps> they're gonna look so good. 